I did spend uh, close to 25 years. Um, and first of all, for me, YNR was a very special place. Uh, not only did I work um, across three countries, but I managed and helped them across more than 15 at a certain point in time, back and forth. Everything I am and everything I've learned was taught to me through great people at YNR. And so, I guess your frames of reference, uh, your um, your kind of safe places, your ability to to have deep relationships with people up and down the network, all exist uh, through YNR. That, so it gave me great comfort. I knew after 25 years, there was nothing that uh, I didn't know or I didn't know about or that I couldn't get solved uh, through YNR. So it was a big challenge. It was a great leap uh, to move uh, to Dan. But as I was taking that leap to Dan, I spent a lot of time learning about Dan. I wanted to understand what Dan stood for, what the Dan culture was, um, and, 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 you know, YNR and Dentsu have always had this relationship in Asia. So it wasn't that I wasn't exposed to Dentsu and its beliefs. And, uh, and so for me, I think that was the biggest challenge was, can I leave the mothership with everything I know and move to somewhere new and start afresh? But I also think it was time to start afresh. I think 24 or 25 years is, is enough time for you to say, hey, I've done that and uh, I've left the place slightly better and it's time for me to move on. What a ride. Um, it's been terrific. I, I, think, I think of all, um, you know, you make, as I said before, you make these decisions and then you, you jump into the abyss and you, you really don't know what's waiting for you. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm completely blown away by the company. I'm blown away by um, the people, the direction, um, the ambition, um, and certainly the, the momentum. It, it really is quite interesting. Um, they, they walk the talk. So when they're out there saying uh, they want to be digital in nature, they will uh, build, they will hire, and they will, they will acquire based on that. So you come in very clearly knowing exactly what, uh, what your role is, what you're supposed to do, uh, and the plans you're supposed to put in place. And for me, um, you know, I was running a very hands-on business. Um, this has allowed me to step back and say, all right, where do I want this group of countries, uh, this thing called Indochina, where do I want it to move? Um, and so it's been fascinating for me to say, I'm going to set the tone, I'm going to set the pace, and I'm going to set the plan uh, for what we need to do. The sheer ambition of Southeast Asia to get onto a world stage. And, you know, talking back to my time in Indonesia, for example, you see local brands who are very strong and who want to be uh, dominant players in the market. They shut out big global brands. Um, you know, Indomie or Mustikaratu, or you get a big brand coming in and saying, we are going to be powerful in the market. Um, in Thailand, we worked with brands that were highly ambitious when we were at YNR. So the Oishis and then the Ishitans, and then we had, um, you know, the Thai Bevs who've come in. Um, you, you see each one of them wanting to prove uh, to the world that they are not only are they strong domestic players, but they're also huge players within this region. So to watch, one, to watch brands have that ambition is fantastic. And then you step back and you watch uh, the youth have the same ambition. You sit down, I mean, it, 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 for me, the fun part of this business is, is to, to talk to someone, you, you guys try and walk around and try and get to, to understand what people are up to uh, in the office. You talk to the young people, you see how interesting they are to learn about the world, to see how they can better themselves, to understand where uh, this industry is going and then how the parallel industries spring up around it and how you build that. So they're, they're kind of much more forward-leaning um, uh, to, to most of the other markets I've gone to where the businesses are mature. Uh, this is a dynamic business and huge growth potential, especially in, in this part of the world. 
once again, I, I feel there's a strong push from from um, local marketers. Now, and, and, and I'll speak, I'm not an expert yet on, on, on the Vietnamese market in any form or fashion, but, but every client that I talk to here is, is trying to learn and trying to understand how do you build that brand? How do you build a strong brand that resonates with um, a very dynamic market in a very fragmented media environment? So uh, once again, should we create smaller pools of discussion where we can build more one-on-one -on -one conversations with people or do we have to build a broader uh, a brand, a persona for, 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 for each of their products and their brands? And I feel that the struggle is how do you kind of balance that and how do you find a way where you don't have to be all things to all people, but you have to be a very uh, strong and, and connected business uh, to, a, to, to a select few. And, and I think they're building towards that. So I think that is more important in the branding right now in, in, uh, in this part of the world. I think every market um, has a unique um, tone of voice and a unique um, cultural uh, significance. And if you're able to bring them into your communication and find a way to communicate to people, um, yes, the, the world, the youth of, of, of this world look around the world for the best, but they're also very proud of what they have. They want to bring that to the world stage. So if brands are able to connect uh, you know, to, to cultural insights and connect to, to tones of voice that mean something in the local market, um, you'll be able to kind of build a, a, a much more nationalistic brand that's closer to their consumer rather than, than to have just a very generic view of, of what the brand should stand for. I'm kind of proud of two things in, 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 my, in my career. I, I think I'm very proud of, uh, of all the people I've worked with. I've been very fortunate. So just to, to walk on that for a bit, um, you know, I really, there, there's the talent that exists within this part of the world is, uh, is second to none. Uh, and I've been very, very fortunate. Uh, I, I see them now, they're peppered all over every agency and, and it's nice, it's nice to know that you know we've all spent time together but continue to work within this industry to make it better so that's one thing i'm very proud of the second thing i'm proud of is is i think the thai creative work that i was fortunate to be a part of um, whether it was work for uh, DTAC, which was our, our telco client or the, our beverage client, um, you know, at one stage Oishi and then Ishitan, or the work we did for, um, you know, for Crystal, or the work we did for Kung Sri Otto. Uh, just the, the creativity uh, fascinated me. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a closet creative. I, I pretend to, to live more in the creative space than, than just, uh, you know, techs are nice and, you know, strategy is wonderful, but to bring it to life and, 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 and look at someone uh, viewing it for the first time is where I feel, uh, you know, my, my job comes to an end. Um, and so that, I think that was beautiful. I think, I think our Sony work um, at, at a certain stage when we were in Singapore, we, did, we were running Sony for Asia. I think that was terrific. Uh, I, and looking back at my, my old Citibank work, I was very proud of it. I mean, it may not have been creatively brilliant, but I think it was, it was strong, and powerful, and hardworking gave the clients what they required. Um, yeah, it's, it's creative, I think it's, it's that end point when you, when you, when you have the work and, and, and you, can, you can show it to people and it's built on solid ideas and great insights and, 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 and strong business results that are driven off it, your job is done. <laughs>